Hey, what's up, Zoners? Today, we're going to be helping each other decide which wide receivers should be in our starting fantasy lineups. That means we've got the top five best and the top five worst wide receiver cornerback matchups for week 14. We have a wide receiver, man. He can get you three points or 300 points, depending on the matchup. Well, guess what, dude? He has the second best wide receiver cornerback matchup for this week. Holy shit. We also have another wide receiver. This guy was getting hyper-targeted, man. Carrying your teams. He's had two terrible matchups. And he has a oh, another one this week. But guess what? He just went against this guy two weeks ago. 77 yards and a touchdown. Do not fear. Do not fear. I will tell you to start him at the end of the episode. Again, later on after that, we have our pass funnel defenses. What are pass funnel defenses? Defenses like my Vikings. They sell out to stop the run. Gives way more opportunities for the wide receivers and quarterback to score more points. So we're, that's what we're chasing here, man. We have a chart and notes typed out. All that for you. But you got to wait for seven seconds. All right, guys, you're looking at a table on fantasypoints.com. Google it and follow along. First up, man, Drake London. All right, this guy got like 17 targets last week. Holy shit. He's at 83% route participation. All right, I think that number is 85, maybe 87. Elite is at 90. All right, that's what we're chasing in our wildest dreams. But that is not the case. He has been off and on injured all season long. So his snap count is kind of weird. All right, 0.50 fantasy points per route run. That is really good. All right, so once you get to 0 0.6, that is elite. That's what we're looking for. 0 0.5 is awesome, all right? And then he gets, dude, Minnesota's worst quarterback, for God's sakes. Minnesota, pass funnel defense. Holy shit, they were one of the worst in the league against the pass, and he gets their worst cornerback. So Drake London should be doing amazing this week. 0 0.45 fantasy points per route run. This guy's kind of all over the field. Same thing as Drake London. So yeah, dude. Uh, Drake London is going to be matched up against this guy a lot, and he should be awesome against him. And then Calvin Ridley, dude, this guy can get you, get you three points, 300 points, depending on the week. Well, this is the week to get you 33 points, probably take that, take a couple zeros off of that 300. But still, Calvin Ridley, 82% route participation. I want to see that a little bit higher, but it is okay. And of course, he runs routes on the outside, barely ever in the slot. 0 0.38 fantasy points per route run. He has not been doing that great. He has not had the most amazing matchups, but we just went over our strength of schedule, man. The Tennessee Titans schedule for the rest of the season is the best in the league. And it starts off right now, man, against Jacksonville's worst cornerback, Ronald Darby. I've talked about this guy like five, five weeks in a row on this show. This guy's not getting any better, man, but he does stick to one side. So Calvin Ridley better hit it hot when he's on that side. 0 0.41 fantasy points per route run. Holy shit. Calvin Ridley, I'm starting this week. Debo, Samuel. He's trying to get the, uh, what, the cornerback that gave up all the points to Addison? All right. They've got the Jalen Johnson covering <laughs> Ricky Pearsall on this. I would not mess around. I'm not starting Debo Samuel anyways, dude. 69% route participation. That fool, who knows if that guy's going to be running, blocking, running routes, all right? I'm watching these games. He looks terrible. I traded for him. I traded his ass away, okay? 0 0.36 fantasy points per route run. That is probably true to what he is right now. That is just okay. I do not like that that much. And yeah, I mean, he gets Chicago's worst cornerback, gave up the points to Addison, but I still don't believe in Debo Samuel. I don't care. All right. I'm not starting Debo Samuel. Next up, Brandon Cooks. I actually really like this. <laughs> I actually really like this because we're going to be looking at the, um, okay, Brandon Cooks does run a lot in the slot, 30%. CeeDee Lamb runs 50% of his routes in the slot. We'll look at this later. Cincinnati only has one good cornerback and he's the slot cornerback. He's literally the best slot cornerback in the league. So... Uh, yeah, Brandon Cooks should have some opportunity this week to score some, or get more targets at least, because CeeDee Lamb should be covered by the best slot cornerback. So 0 0.39 fantasy points per route run is who Brandon Cooks gets. That's great. He's only scoring 0 0.28 fantasy points per route run, only at 76% route participation. But again, injured, not injured, injured, not injured. So that is that's, when he is fully healthy, I expect that to be over 80%. And then next up, Lad McConkie. So Brandon Cooks is a streamer for me. I got maybe the other wide receiver there, Turpin. I can't remember. Lad McConkie, dude. This guy better play. All right. This guy better fucking play. He's got one of the best schedules for the rest of the season. And it starts right now. All right. So Lad McConkie, one, two, three, four. The fifth best wide receiver cornerback matchup, dude. He is the slot guy here. And he gets Kansas City slot uh, slot cornerback. He's in slot 82% of the time. Giving up 0 0.35. So, hey, man, Kansas City's cornerbacks are really good on the outside. They give up a lot in the middle. 
And who's that going to be? It's going to be Ladd McConkey, for God's sakes, dude. 0.51 fantasy points per route run. That is very good. And if you looked at the last couple of weeks, I bet you that's 0.55, almost 0.6, for God's sakes. That fool had a 70 per, 70% target share last game until he got injured. Please, God, please, Ladd McConkey, please play this week. Uh, I have traded Debo Samuel and uh, I don't remember. Travis Etienne for him, for Lad McConkey and Thielen. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. One of the best things I've ever done in my life, dude. In my life. And then let's go down to uh, Mike Evans. Lastly, Tampa Bay. I've been waiting for this guy just to pop off for like 30-something points. This is the week, man. Las Vegas. Yeah, you cannot run the ball. I say you cannot run them against the ball against them, but I think you cannot pass the ball. They're actually pretty good against wide receivers, but he gets their worst cornerback. So they, this is going to force the issue. Throw it to one side. Throw it down the field. Let's go, Mike Evans. So he is the right cornerback. The right cornerback covers the left wide receiver, and that is where he is running most of his routes. 0.53. That is going to be 0.6 by the end of the season. Holy shit, man. Mike Evans, get on that train. All right, man. On to the worst matchups for wide receivers this week. Quentin Johnson, man. We talked about this. Really, Herbert only does well when Quentin Johnson's catching those long touchdowns. And this guy has the worst matchup this week. Kansas City, I just talked about their outside uh, cornerbacks. Dude, Joshua Williams. Holding it down on the outside for Kansas City. Only 0.11 fantasy points per route run allowed. Holy shit, that's terrible, man. And look, he, he covers the right cornerback side, so that's the left wide receiver. That's where Quentin Johnson is most of the time. Quentin Johnson's going to have a rough matchup, dude. I wouldn't even touch him in my flex, especially when you're trying to make playoffs, dude. Fuck that shit. Jackson Smith and Jigba, man. All right, this guy's got a terrible matchup. Good news is he had this same matchup two weeks ago. He was getting double-digit targets, right? Double-digit targets. Amazing, carrying people's team. He was a top 10 wide receiver, no problem. And then he ran into the best uh, slot cornerback on the Arizona Cardinals. Then he had to go against Michael Carter last week, the second best slot cornerback, or whatever I'm trying to say, uh, last week. So two bad, a little bit down weeks, but he did get 77 yards, seven receptions, and a touchdown two weeks ago against this cornerback. So I am not afraid. I'm still starting JSN against Arizona. Uh, but yeah, dude, Garrett Williams, best slot cornerback in the league, only 0.13 fantasy points per route run allowed. Holy shit. Jackson Smith and Jigba is in the slot 75% of the time and getting 0.41 fantasy points per route run. I bet you that's 0.6 over the last, I don't know, uh, month and a half or something like that. He had a slow beginning. Darnell Mooney, people just, man, I said to start him. I think I said to start him last week. Did not do well. 87.3 fantasy or percent route run. That's a great dude. I did not know. I did not realize that Darnell Mooney was running that many routes. So I love that spreading him all over the field. 0.41 fantasy points per route run. That is very good. All right. I mean, that's not very, that's just good. Very good is at 0.5 elite. Excellent. 0.6. So just very good. And he gets uh Minnesota's best cornerback. That's not what you want, man. So Darnell Mooney should have less opportunities. Drake London. You saw him with one of the best matchups. Look for Drake London to get all of the targets a game. Then uh, let's see, dude, CeeDee Lamb. So I, like I just uh, said, it was um, Brandon Cooks actually had that great matchup. On, well, the conversely, over here, CeeDee Lamb, dude, 82% rap participation. That should be like 90. He is the slot wide receiver there. 50%, man. 50% of the time that guy is lined up in the slot. He is doing very well. 0.49 over the last couple of weeks. I'm sure that is down. All right, because he does better with Dak, of course. But he gets the best corner slot cornerback in the league. So when you think about going against Arizona, you're like, holy shit, man, this is going to be a smash for CeeDee Lamb. I still expect him to get points, but it, he's going to be held down to a reasonable amount this week. So sorry, CeeDee Lamb owners. I know you want Cincinnati, but he has the worst matchup there possible, okay? Then Puka, Nakua, 72% rap participation. That fool's been injured half the year. He was on the weird snap counts for a little bit, but now he's back, man. So I expect that to be 85% right now. Runs routes on the outside, mostly on one side. 0.60. Dude, that is almost elite. We talked about elite. All right, 0.60-ish. He gets Buffalo's best cornerback. Buffalo is a run funnel defense. So you can, people do not pass the ball against Buffalo. They just run it because they can't stop the run. So Kyron Williams should have the big game. And uh, look for Cooper Cup to actually get targeted this fucking game. Dude, I know he didn't get targeted last game. Holy shit, he should get targeted this game. 0.17 fantasy points per, game, uh, per route run let up. That's terrible. But Puka Nakua, all right, he will still do well. I still expect, you know, 75 yards and a touchdown probably. But Cooper Cup and Kyron should be much more involved. All right, real quick, let's go over pass funnel defenses. So defenses that sell out to stop the run. So more opportunity for the wide receivers and quarterbacks. Minnesota Vikings, man, they are hosting Atlanta. Trick London, holy shit, man, 17 targets again. Baltimore Ravens, okay. 
They've got to buy, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Cleveland Browns, uh, this just happened two weeks ago. Check out what happened there. But, hey, George Pickens did would, would have done much better had not been for the snow. George Pickens will be a lot better this week. Houston Texans on by. Who cares? And then, hey, man, the Detroit Lions going against Green Bay. So Josh Jacobs has been amazing, and he actually started off re- uh, doing really well against Detroit last time they played. But there should be more passing this game for Jordan Love, which is what he needs, dude. Uh, he has not been a top 12 quarterback in God knows how long. Atlanta Falcons at Minnesota. So two pass funnel defenses going against each other in the Falcons and Minnesota. Justin Jefferson, let's go, dude. I need you to get me 20-something points, dude. Come on. Run funnel is just the inverse. Uh, that's the schedule right there. So you can do that on yourself, all by yourself. All right, everybody, that is the show. Thank you so much for watching. If you actually did like this show, man, please give me a thumbs up because that has uh, gives me the potential to reach more eyes, man. Sends me out to more computers. That would be amazing. So hopefully I earned that thumbs up. Hopefully I earned a subscription, man. We need subscribers. We're trying to get big here. All the subscribers have been amazing so far, but we need more. Okay, so thank you so much for that. This is Tyler, Big Turd Ward, and the Fantasy Red Zone, and we appreciate you.